Hello there, and welcome to another Battle Pass update. This is a Saturday, June 13th, and as you can see there, we have Eminence of Ristul, uh, the Arcana for Queen of Pain that has actually been released now. So let's uh, quickly jump in and check out the intro here and what is actually included with this Arcana pack. All right, so the new Arcana bundle for Queen of Pain. Content for so long exploring the playground of the mortal realm, Akasha returns now to the dangerous court of Rastul, where her star has fallen in her time away. But the queen above intends to claim as well the throne below. Striking a bargain with an exiled demon prince, Akasha has seized a new measure of power, and Venish plans are at last set to begin. So we can see some examples here of, of her abilities. So scream. Pretty cool effects there on the heroes and around there. We'll actually demo Akasha herself. We've got her alternate style as well that we can check out. So that ice blue. As she skips around, jumps, teleport. Whip. <laughs> The dagger. And there's the blink. So this will be available if you reach your battle pass at uh, up to level 445, 445. So with this, there's an all new model and pedestal. Queen of Pain's entire model, items and loadout pedestal have been fittingly redesigned to reflect the power of true demon royalty that she has gained in her bargain. Custom animations and effects Features an all new animation set, Sonic Wave counter, new Sonic Wave and Blink custom deny effect, new ambient effects for both styles, and a custom whip melee attack animation and effect for those special close encounters. Custom hero assets obviously include all new hero portrait, ability icons, and a minimap icon as well. That actually looks pretty cool. Over 500 new Arcana exclusive voice lines, and uh, I'll get into some of, the, some of the examples soon on the webpage. Uh, and then there's also new sound effects as well. Indulge in the torment with all new sound effects for Sonic Wave, Blink, and Special Whip Melee attacks. And, there's, and the unlockable second style comes with 100 enemies tormented with a Sonic Wave. Uh, 100? <laughs> 1,000 enemies. Uh, tormented with Sonic Wave and Victories to unlock the Royal Decree alternate style as you can see there. So let's uh, jump in and we'll have a bit of a demo with Queen of Pain herself. With the uh, new Arcana in effect. Alright, let's get some demo action happening here. Let's uh, level her up to max. Three spells. Get some enemies in here, so... Why aren't they doing anything? They're just standing around! Relax, Morty. Oh man, they just got some of that first blood going. <laughs> well, look at that dub. How many enemies we got? Great debaucher, more like amateur hour. Pain. Oh boy, killing spree. Oh, oh my God, it's like we got our souls. Okay. He's dominating Rick. Let's uh, get rid of some of this creep. Cool, check out the blink. Scream. Where's the dagger? You get the dagger over there. Alright, now yeah, let's see if we can turn this up a bit. Where's Tiny? Tiny there? <laughs> Look at the flames! There's a five five times combo. Okay. Oh, shit. 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 O
<laughs> well, added some more enemies. Oh, I got the whip effect as well. Alright, so they're all over here now. Uh, the max. Alright. What's she doing? <laughs> All right, so is there no Don't bring one over anymore amongst gaming people? Submit at the whip effect. All right, let's go over here. Huh? Up here. All right, so we've got a whip. Oh, that's the dagger. Whip. Got the screen. Go over here. Up another one. Alright, we pick up Pango. In here. Alright, so we'll do this little so blink in. <laughs> That is crazy. There's a time and a place if anyone's interested. A courier. All right. Dagger. Whip. Nah, I'm trying to get a whip out. And uh, melee is the whip. That looks pretty cool. Nice little effects and that sort of thing on the ground. Uh, do the combo again. Pretty, pretty cool. And the, the voice, the decibel meter here that they were talking about as well. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright. There's some cool effects. Daggers. <laughs> but auto attack on. Rampage. That's as high as it goes. <laughs> anyway, let's have a quick look at her. In game, she looks pretty sick. What does she look like when she does her sonic wave? Nice and close. Here's everyone, so it's nice. Animations are pretty. Look at that whip go. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. All right. Do this blink in. Do this skip. Does a, does a little taunt when she hits not the five, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's actually cool. All right, lots of fun there. That can be had all day. Make way for your queen. Yes, definitely make way for your queen. Uh, let's check out the website from uh, Dota 2 just to check out all the details in terms of the actual uh, arcana that they have available for everyone to check out. There is a teaser, which I will play shortly. Uh, but as you can see, you need to unlock, the, uh, you need to get your battle pass up to level 445, 445, 
and uh, as you can see there, make way for your queen, and we've already gone through that. So it's the same in, same intro uh, within the game client itself, and you've got some examples of the of the abilities and the animations. Exquisite agony on display. Akasha excels at torment, and nothing dominates her foes en masse like the perfect sonic wave. With the addition of a special toast, now the queen can celebrate each target punished with it by a single wave. Turn up the decibel level and the suffering by hitting as many enemies as possible with each ultimate to push the pain meter to the max. That was the, uh, the combo line that you saw there before. Unlockable second style, royal decree. As her influence in rest restore grows, the queen can change her form at will. Form at 1,000 enemies with sonic wave and victories to unlock the royal decree alternate style for this arcana, featuring a variant color theme for its model and effects. It'll be interesting to check that out. Um, then obviously we went through all the different details there, all new model items, pedestal, custom animation effects, custom hero assets, and now we have some voice lines which I'll play through. Can't win a war without a bit of pain. My dagger is ready, and don't forget about the whip. Oh, cry yourself to sleep. Where there's a whip, there's a way. You have to earn the attention of a queen. The queen will thank you later. They should enjoy their last moments. I know I will. The ones who live will never forget me. Can't win a war without a bit of pain. My dagger is ready. And don't forget about the whip. So there you have a, a few samples of the 500 plus voice lines for this Arcana set. And now there is also a webcomic here that, which goes through how uh, Akasha gains her power as a queen of the underworld as well. So uh, we'll quickly go through this. Uh, it was the eve of the narrow maze and Akasha couldn't have been more miserable. Normally the spectacle of souls fighting for their freedom brought the demoness joy, but today her mind dwelled on her legacy. On the mortal plane, she was known as the Queen of Pain, but to the court of Restool, she was merely the sister of Bakor. Bakor and his allies, Nevermore and Rogos, continued to amass power, and as they gained clout on the abyssal plane, she found her own to be waning. What good was infamy above if it, was, if it meant she had to bear her brother's mocking laughter below? No, something needed to be done. And so Akasha travelled to the wizard town of Weeping Rose to find the only one who could help her. But the Queen of Pain did not seek an audience with the almighty Corum, or look to steal an artefact of immense power from the Burnt Hall. She did not seek to barter with Jin, or to conspire with those who worshipped her as a god. Instead, she took to the streets in search of a demon whose name was whispered with, with ridicule in the court of Ristul, Noh, the ex exiled prince. Once destined to rule a mighty demon clan, the proud and arrogant Noh was whipped into a life of certitude by a cunning mortal occultist named Vanessa. Now forced to act as a bodyguard and, and enforcer for the quick-witted mage, Noh was regarded as a cautionary tale in the umbral plain. A warning of what banality awaits those who think they can never be touched, of power and potential that was left to rot in the world of humans. But to Akasha, she saw more than a laughing stock. She saw opportunity. Akasha greeted Noh and informed him of what had happened since the actual binding. How the core, Nevermore, and Vrogros decided that power was better to be divided three ways, not four. Without Noh to defend his family's holdings, his entire clan was forced to bend the knee. Noh growled his frustrations. What do you expect to expect me to do, succubus? Were I allowed to step foot in the, in the court, I would reign sovereign, but that's not my place anymore. I serve here at Vanessa's leisure. Akasha smiled her goal within her grasp. My dear prince, you cannot, but I can. Confer your power onto me, and I will see our enemies suffer. Noh was left with little choice. He did not give away his birthright to Akasha. He would have no home to come to once his contract with Vanessa came to an end. And so the accord was made. The exiled prince was a prince no more, and Akasha would inherit the lands and power associated with his clan. As the power coursed through her, her mind danced at the thought of all the wicked deeds she would finally 
Let Nevermore gloat about the soul of his pet vool. Let Vrogros plan his assault. Stonehall. Let Bacor laugh and play master of the ceremony. Or the other demons. In time, she will come for all of them. In time, she would be queen of both above and below. A cool little comic there. And then there's a couple of wallpapers here as well. Um, which you can uh, jump into yourself, but they look pretty sick. There's obviously the uh, more detailed Arcana one here. And then there's a, a comic version here as well, which looks... But that sort of brings us to the end of this. I will play the, uh, the introduction... Uh, video for you for Akasha and her new Arcana bundle and uh, I hope you enjoyed this update if you did please like and subscribe and leave a comment below and I'll catch you again for the next update cheers do you want to know what I really love it's that first little moment when they realize this isn't a game. Are you ready for your moment? <laughs>